No, no. What the, why, do you know why we've come to see you? Yes, because you've come to bully and harass me the same way that people always do. You bully and harass us? Well, just about everybody on the planet, as you very well know. Would you not rather we spoke in private, kiss anyone here? Well, no, I don't care, really. Everybody in the whole world knows all my business, so why okay. should I be bothered? Okay. Do you know what's led up to us coming to see you today? Well, this lady just told me it was the antisocial behaviour team uh, because they wrote to me and said there was some complaint about antisocial behaviour or something. Yeah. So I said, it's the people next door. They play their music so loud it's like a nightclub in my house. Oh. And um, when I complained about it, the man said it's his house and he'll do whatever he wants. And um, I said that they stalk me, which they do, they're not in at the moment, but every time I come out in my garden, they come out. Why do they stalk you? Well, you'd have to ask them that. Why don't you go and assess them under the Mental Health Act? Yeah. Why, why, why did the antisocial people ask us to come and see you, do you know? Did well, I've just, I've just explained, haven't I? They haven't said anything to me. You'd have to ask this lady. I only know what she told me. Yeah. Well, they were worried that you were getting paranoid. Have oh, been that way in the past? No, I have never been paranoid okay. in my life. Although there was a psychiatrist in the past who diagnosed me with schizoaffective disorder. Yeah. Although they didn't tell me that, I saw it on oh, a no. sick note months later. Yeah. Um, because I was complaining about my neighbours harassing me and I was getting very upset about it because it was constant all the time. And even though they knew that this was actually taking place, yeah. they preferred to pathologise me okay. to fit in with their own world view. When was that? Did they give you that diagnosis? 2011, I think. And did they, were you in hospital or anything at that time? Yes, they forced me to go into hospital for seven weeks and they terrorised me night and day and made my life absolute hell. Um, even though they were supposed to be thinking I was ill, they did not take me to a therapeutic environment. Okay. Which hospital did they take you to at the time, do you remember? The Becklin Centre. Oh. Did we on any tablets or anything? Well, they put me on haloperidol, which made me extremely ill, because yeah. they put me on the very high dose of it to make me feel better about being continually harassed by everyone all the time, so they said. I didn't know they were actually giving it to me, so I became very ill and was about to hang myself due to haloperidol poisoning. Mm -hmm. And um, even though I must have seen about 10 different psychiatrists as a result of this uh, in the Becklin Centre, at a private ho hospital in Harrogate and also at a day hospital at St Mary's. Yeah. No one spotted the side effects of haloperidol, uh, so they just put me on even more drugs, um, two different kinds of antidepressants, lorazepam, mm -hmm. zopiclone, um, pregabalin, all to help me with this anxiety and depression that was just a side effect of haloperidol, uh, which these super duper expert doctors yeah. didn't even notice. And do you take any of that medication anymore? No, I don't, and I feel a hundred percent better okay. when, since I stopped taking when it. When did you stop taking it? Haloperidol, I can't remember. It was about uh, 2012, 2013, and then I came off antidepressants at the end of uh, last year. Okay. How long have you lived here in this uh, Eleven years. Oh, you oh. lived here for eleven years? Yeah. Okay. Right. When did they move in? Um, about eighteen months ago. Oh, okay. Right. Do you recognise this gentleman? No, I've never seen him before. Oh, okay. You've not seen him before? No. Okay. So, Andrew's from the antisocial behaviour team then? Right. I've never met him before either. Because he's, he's aware of us coming today. Right. So he was. Whenever you were whenever you were at St Mary's Day, was it the day hospital you were at, or did you just go for outpatient appointments? Uh, both. Well, which which doctor was it that you seen up there, do you remember? Dr Hughes. Okay. Um, when was the last time you seen anyone from his team? Or Ages ago. Ages ago. So it's been a long time since you've had any input from mental health services? Yes, and I don't wish to have any input from mental health services. I think psychiatry is a heap of garbage. Uh -huh. I don't recognise it as a legitimate branch of medicine at all. I think it's based on complete falsehood. Okay. Do you think you're unwell in any other way? Well, I've got an ear infection. I was quite hoping you'd brought a proper doctor who could have had a look at it. 
Otherwise, you think everything is going fine, apart from the problems here, otherwise everything is going fine? Yeah. No yeah. difficulties at all? No. You sleeping well? Um, when I'm not being woken up, yes. By, By the noise? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, appetite okay? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember much about how you ended up going into hospital the last time? Oh yeah, I do remember. I mean, they forced me into hospital twice. The first time uh, was because the neighbour was harassing me at the back. Um, and anyway, I saw a police car pull out up outside my house, which was about one o'clock in the morning. And I came outside and I said to the policewoman, you've got to do something about these people at the back, otherwise there's going to be a crime committed uh, because they're harassing me all the time. Anyway, she decided I was paranoid and took me off to the Becklin Centre. And then they took me off to a hospital in um, Harrogate. Uh, no, not sorry, not Harrogate, North Allerton. Um, and I was there for about 10 days. That was uh, about May uh, 2011. Um, and then they came back uh, at the end of July um, in 2011 um, and they turned up in the morning and I knew they were coming to kidnap me again and there was a group of them. Um, I don't know who they all were, there were no police with them, but there was one woman who came in front of the door and said she was a GP and I just told them to um, F off basically because I knew they were coming to kidnap me again and I shouted at them all until they went away um, and then I, went to, then I went to bed in the afternoon mm -hmm. and had a sleep and then um, they came back with the police while I was actually asleep upstairs and kicked my door down. Okay. And then they came in and uh, they all decided uh, that I was psychotic or something and took me off to hospital. Um, yes, and I do remember that uh, they left me there for quite some time. The psychiatrist went and whoever else was there. And they left this very patronising social worker. Um, and there were two police officers, um, one of whom told me that um, he'd been in the army in Iraq or Afghanistan. The police were very nice to me, actually, and helped me water my plants before I went off to hospital. And then one of the police officers drove me to hospital, mm -hmm. um, and that was when um, he told me uh, that he, uh, he'd been in the army, in the military police, I think he said. And uh, while the police were here, um, I was finishing knitting a Loch Ness monster using a pattern on the internet. And uh, I was also baking bread as well. I had to bake the bread before I could leave because it was rising. Uh, so I wasn't in any psychotic state at all. Mm -hmm. uh, but they decided I was, and because they've got all the power, nobody can do anything what, about what, what, it. What was it they said was psychotic? What, what, I, can't, I can't even remember, what to be you, honest. Did they think that your issues with the neighbours was psychotic belief? Is that what they thought? Uh, they didn't say, actually. No one, like I said, they didn't tell me they diagnosed me with schizoaffective disorder, which I didn't even have any symptoms for anyway. I used to work in mental health. Yeah. I was a case coordinator. I know bullshit when yeah. I come across it, and it was total bullshit. That's why I didn't think they were really drugging me. Yeah. It was complete and utter bullshit. They just made it up. Mm -hmm. They just make up any crap they want. And they're experts, so nobody can say anything about it. Okay. Okay. What? Do, why are the antisocial behaviour team involved? We've just had reports of like noise nuisance. By whom? Um, neighbours in the street, in the street behind, and also had reports of verbal abuse on other Two neighbours. And the lady saying that the next door neighbour makes a lot of noise. I mean, do you put anything? Sometimes you can have recording things. I've, I've got recordings from that neighbour. Right, well, can I have some recordings for neighbours noise coming from his property, then? If you, if you, like, make recordings, I'm happy to take them from yourself. But you have something, don't you, where you put places and you can Oh, we can, it? yeah, we can put, like, record, you, we can put noise equipment in your, like, in your property. Right. To record that, and it's kind of, the levels are set so that we can, I don't know how to explain it, but it is, basically, if it's too loud, it's going to show up. Well, it's like a nightclub in my house when he's got his music on in the middle of the night. It, it, and the bass is on so loud, it makes my settee vibrate. He, al he also threatened to kill me as well and threw a plant over the fence at me. Um, see, there's, there's been damage to the air garden as well. Like, 
plants have been kind of ripped. Well, perhaps it's the same person who's damaging and stealing plants from my garden and who throws rubbish in my garden every day as well. You're not doing a tit for tat, are you? <laughs> well, I don't think it's him throwing rubbish in my garden, to be honest. Who do you think it is? I don't know who it is. I've never seen them. Okay. You keep awesome. your garden very well. Thank you. <laughs> nice big rhubarb. Do you yeah. pick it with it? Yeah, I've just picked some. I'm going to make something with it later. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. mm -hmm. What's that? Um, you've been seen kind of shouting at people passing through the street. Oh, really? Um, is that, is, are those lights beyond me? Well, the man down the road threatened to hit me with an axe. I'd suggest you go and assess him under the Mental Health Act as well. Did you shout at him? Well, I told him he could chop me up with an axe, that it'd be a relief to get away from everybody. Is that how you feel? Uh, well, it is when they're harassing me, yeah. Otherwise That's been going on for years. Has it got worse recently? Um, I wouldn't say so, no. It's a bit better, if anything, it's been over the last week. It's been a bit better. Yeah. You live alone? Yeah. Do you have any family? Yeah, in Wakefield. In Wakefield. Do they come and see you? No. You have no contact with them? No. Okay. Right. Which neighbour friend you would have actually? I, I don't know the number, but there's um, he's got a big fence up outside his house. Blue door. I don't know what colour his door is. Okay. All right then. Thank you for talking to us. All right then.